Clarity is going to be your best friend. You have to understand with lot of ease. I am supposed to be the one that would step up to solve the problem today. And I am pretty sure that you will be able to understand in one go. And here is the problem we have to solve using regular falsy method or false position method. Both are same. So here it was given that we have to find the root of the equation x log x is equal to 1.5. Here it was given that f of x is equal to this is x log x minus 1.2. First of all we have to check f of 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So here I am going with x is equal to 2. So if I put x is equal to 2 here this will be 2 log 2 minus 1.2. And here, if you observe here, this is 2 into log 2 minus 1.2. The value here is minus 0 0.597940. And this is a negative value. So, here if you observe, so this is a negative value. So, if I keep x is equal to 3, so f of 3 will be. So, in place of x, if I keep 3, this will be. 3 into x log 3 minus 1.2. So, this value will be 3 into log 3 minus this is 1.2. The value here is this is 0 0.231363 and this value is a positive value. So, if I get different different values, so we have to consider that x naught is equal to 2 and x naught is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to 3 and it is also known that f of x naught value f of x naught value is minus 0 point that is 5974 and f of x1 value is nothing but 0 0.231363 so if i write the same thing here so x naught value so x naught is 2 and uh, f of uh, x0 is minus 0 0.59794 and x1 value is 3 and f of x1 value is 0 0.231363 and now we have to go with x2 so in order to find x2 so we have a formula that f of x plus 1 is equal to f of x minus 1 this is f of xi and again we have to interchange these two xi comes out and f of xi minus 1 by so whatever it is here so bring it down f of xi minus f of xi minus 1 so this is one way to remember and we need which value which value x0 is there x1 is there and again we have to go with x3 sorry x2 so this is the value of x2 so in order to find this x2 so there is a simple shortcut that subtract 2 from this 2 minus 2 is 0 so x0 and the very next number of naught is 1 so f of x1 and again i'll interchange these two x1 here f of x0 by i'll bring these two down so that is the formula so, if you don't remember this formula, so exactly slightly right away like this or else if you want um, x2, keep i is equal to, see here, keep i is equal to 1 in the whole equation, you will get the same thing. So, every time you subtract 2 from this number and you start doing like this. So, all the values are clearly here and what is our x0 value? x0 value is nothing but 2. So, x2 is equal to, this is 2 into f of x1. So, f of x1 value is nothing but, that is 0 0.231363 minus our x1. x1 value is 3 and f of x0. f of x0 value is minus 0. Point, this is 59794 divided by f of x1. So, what is our f of x1? That is 0 0.231. 363 minus f of x naught so minus of minus this is plus 0 point this is 59c 0 0.59794 so we can use the calci in order to calculate this one so here minus into minus this is plus so this will be 2 into see here this is 2 into 0 0.231 363 plus and this one is 3 into 0 0.59794 divided by so this one is 0 0.231363 plus 0. Point, this is 59794 
so the value here is so if you see that is 2.7210 so i got x2 value as this is 2.7210 so after getting x2 again we have to calculate f of x2 so f of x2 we have to calculate so what is f of x here so f of x is nothing but f of x is nothing but this is x log x minus 1.2 and here we got x2 value as see here x2 value is nothing but x2 value is 2.7210 so f of x2 is nothing but 2.7210 this is log of 2.7210 minus 1.2 and here the value here will be 2.7210 7210 into log of this is 2.7210 minus this is 1.2 the value here of f of x2 f of x2 is minus 0.01710 that is 36 36 so after getting these values again we have to note here that x2 value is nothing but this is 2.7210 and here f of x2 value is minus 0.0171036 and again we have to calculate x3 so in order to calculate x3 so in this equation so in this formula so if you want x3 keep i is equal to 2 or else a simple simple uh, formula to remember so uh, subtract 2 from this 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1 so 1 after 2 f of x2 again we have to interchange these two x2 outside and f of x1 inside by here f of x2 minus f of x1 so this is one way to remember or else if you straightly remember that formula keep i is equal to 2 there so all the values are ready with me so i am substituting so x3 is equal to what is our x1 value every value is ready here so x1 value is nothing but 3 so this is 3 into f of x2 f of x3 is nothing but minus 0 0.0171036 minus this is x2 x2 value is uh, 2.7210 and f of x1 value is like this 0 0.231363 divided by f of x2 that is minus 0 0.0171036 minus f of x1 is nothing but 0 0.231363 and this is our x3 value so here there is minus there is minus 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 if i take minus common from the numerator and denominator and everything will be plus so this will be 3 into c this is 3 into 0 0.0171010 36 plus and this is 2.7210 into 0 0.231363 divided by see this one is 0 0.0171036 plus 0 0.231363 and the answer here is this is 2.40 this is 20205 see and the answer is like this so we got our x3 value after this one so x3 value immediately we have to note down that is 2.740205 so we have to calculate f of x3 so for that f of x3 we have f of x is nothing but this is x log x minus 1.2 therefore f of x3 is nothing but in place of x we have to write 2.740205 log of this is 2.740205 205 minus 1.2 and f of x3 value is nothing but so this will be 2.740205 into log of 2.740205 minus this is 1.2 the value here is minus 0 0.0003468 so this is the value which you have to remember so x3 f of x3 value is nothing but minus 0 0.000 that is 3856 so all the values are correct here so if if i observe once again that is 
x x three value is nothing but um, two point seven four zero, and uh, if I keep everything here, then this is the value. And after getting this value, so again I have to go with. So this value, if I note down, this is minus zero point zero zero three eight four six eight. Again, I have to find out the value of x four. For for finding x four, again, if you can use the formula and keep i is equal to three, or else if you don't remember the formula, see subtract two from this. So four minus two is two. So go with x two. F of the next number of two is x three minus interchange these two x three. f of x2 by keep it down f of x3 down minus f of x2 any way you can use and this is the value we have to find so for finding x4 all the values are ready here so what is our x2 value so x2 value is nothing but 2.7210 and f of x3 value is nothing but minus 0.000 that is 38468 minus x3 so what is our x3 value this is 2.740205 into this is f of x2 f of x2 value is again minus this will be plus 0.0171036 so after finding this one f of x3 value is nothing but minus 0.0003843 8468 minus f of x2 again it is minus minus of minus this is plus this value is 0.0171036 so here if you observe this one so this is first the, there is a plus here that is 2.740205 into 0.017 after multiplying these two we have to subtract this one that is 2.7210 into Into that is zero point zero zero zero, that is three eight six eight, three eight four six eight, three eight four six eight divided by this is zero point zero one seven one zero three six minus zero point triple zero, that is three eight four six eight. Then the answer is x four value is. Two point seven four zero six, two point seven four zero six, and uh, if you observe this one, this two point seven four zero six. If you observe the value here, this is two point seven, two point seven, two point seven four. So this is two point seven four. The repeated answer we got. Therefore, hence the root of the given equation is hence. the root of the given equation the root of the given equation is x is equal to this is 2.74 so this is how we have to calculate this is using regular falsi method and this is where there is a formula straight away formula here in this we can keep i is equal to 1 2 3 or like that or else I have uh, said you one technique. You can use even that technique, even though you don't get the formula. You can straight away calculate in that way. And this is how we have to solve. And thank you so much for watching. The ultimate purpose of solving and explaining is to make your job easier. That's all for today. And there are going to be many more videos coming up this in this series. And thank you for pulling out all your time and attention. And we'll meet you in my next video.